Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gravenice. Today we're looking at Chapter 8, Lesson 3, Simplest Form. Students will be able to generate equivalent fractions by writing a fraction in simplest form. So let's get to it and simplify some fractions. So just to review, a fraction is the same as division, right? We learned that in a previous lesson. So if we have 8 divided by 12, we now know that's the same thing as saying 8 twelfths. Is there a simpler way to write 8 twelfths? Let's find out. So 8 twelfths can be represented in this model. So we have a total of 12 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Eight of them are shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 twelfths of this model are shaded. Well, is there a way to make it so that we have the same amount of space shaded, but we have fewer spaces? So imagine if we could remove some of these black lines so that we have fewer spaces, but they were all larger. Now we still want to have the exact same amount of space in total. So I'm going to show you another fraction strip that gives me the same amount of space shaded. So you can see that I've lined them up edge to edge. And when I do that, I still have the exact same amount of space. So what is this fraction in the red? I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, and one, two, three, four of them are shaded. Okay, I'm just gonna rewrite this. So I have four sixths, and I can see that that is exactly the same amount as eight twelfths. Well, I removed every other line. So I removed this line. I removed this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And by doing that, I have fewer spaces and they're a little bit larger. So I, I made that more simple. I simplified it. Well, can I make it any simpler? Can I remove any more lines so that it still has the same amount of space? Think about that. And here we go. As you can see, the amount of space is the same. What's this fraction showing? I have one, two, three total pieces and two are shaded. So the yellow represents two thirds. Again, it's the same amount of space, but I have much larger pieces and fewer of those pieces. So this is very simple compared to this one, which has a lot going on. So when you take a fraction and simplify it, that's what we're doing. We're making fewer pieces that might be larger. So if I take 8 twelfths and write it in simplest form, I get 2 thirds, and you can see that they're equal to each other. So 8 twelfths equals 4 sixths, that was our middle step, and that is also equal to 2 thirds. They're all equal to each other. 2 thirds is the simplest form. Let's look at one other example. For this example, I'm going to start off with five tenths. You can see I have 10 total pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five of them were shaded in. Now, what does that look like to you? Try and simplify that in your mind. Hopefully you're thinking that it looks like half 
of the amount shaded. In this fraction bar, I have two equal pieces, one of them shaded, and you can see it's the exact same amount. And that's because 5 tenths equals the same thing as 1 half. We just made it simpler. And there are a lot of fractions that we use that are equal to a half. We could also say that 2 fourths equals a half. We could say that 3 sixths equals a half. We could even say that 6 twelfths equals a half. And we could go on forever. 1 half, that is the most common fraction ever. It's a very popular fraction. So all of these are equal to each other. Which one is the simplest? The simplest one would be, oops, that's off a little bit. The simplest one would be 1 half. It has the fewest lines. It's the least complicated. So the simplest form of all of those would be 1 half. Now, how can we do this without fraction bars? Let's go back to that first fraction. We had 8 twelfths. Here's how we would work on this without fraction bars. What we want to do is divide both numbers in our fraction by the same thing. So I need to think to myself, what can I divide by 8 by that I can also divide 12 by? And I, if you don't know, you can always start with 2 and go from there. Can I divide them both by 2? Yeah, because when I count by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. They're both in my 2 times tables. So I can divide these guys both by 2. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. And 12 divided by 2 gives me 6. And that should look familiar. That was one of the fraction bars that we saw that gave us the same amount as our 8 twelfths, remember? Now, can we make 4 sixths even simpler? Are 4 and 6 together in any times table? Yep, they're in their 2 times tables together. When I count by 2s, I get a 4 and I get a 6. So I can divide them both by 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And aha, there you have that 2 thirds that we saw that was equivalent or equal to the 4 6 and the 8 twelfths. So when we turn a fraction into its simplest form, we are dividing the numerator and the denominator by a common factor. Now for this example, we could have gotten to our answer right away if we picked a different number to divide by. Yes, we can divide 8 and 12 by 2, but what else can we divide 8 and 12 by? They're in another times table together. Are they in the three times tables together? No, 8's not a multiple of 3. How about the four times tables? Yes. If I count by fours, I get 8 and 12. 8 divided by 4 gives me 2, and 12 divided by 4, you guessed it, it gives me 3. So notice we get the simplest form right away because we picked the greatest of the common factors. Oh my gosh, that's what we did in our previous lesson, greatest common factor. 4 is the greatest common factor of 8 and 12. And if we divide by the greatest common factor of your numerator and denominator, we get simplest form. We'll look at that. How about that other example, 5 tenths? Remember, we had 5 tenths. And we saw that 5 tenths was actually equal to a lot of different numbers. But how can we simplify it and put this in simplest form? Think about it. What can I divide 5 and 10 by? 
they're both a part of what times table? Are they in your two times tables? 10 is, but five is not. How about your threes? Three, six, nine, 12, no. Fours? Nope. Fives? Ah, five, 10. They're both in your five times tables, so divide them by five. Five divided by five equals one, and 10 divided by five equals two. Remember, we had five tenths equal to one half. They're equivalent. And one half is much simpler than five tenths. It's the simplest form. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Simplest form can be tough. So if you need to rewatch it, please do so. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.